Hi everybody, Ace Barnes Fox here, and welcome to another First Seed Friday video. In today's video, I wanted to talk about how it's completely 100% okay to dislike things. People think because I'm upbeat and happy all the time that I like everything. But honestly, that would be impossible. At the same time, however, there's always a polite way to express that you don't particularly like something. And depending on what we say and how we say it, it can actually be hurtful, even if that wasn't your intention. For example, I have a lot of friends that like the types of music, art, and pop culture that I'm just not into. But I would never put down those things they like just because I don't also happen to be a fan. One of my favorite examples is actually from a weirdly specific rule that my family had when all eight of us would be eating food together. The rule was that if someone is eating a type of food and you don't like that type of food, you can't say anything mean about that food. My parents actually tell me about a time that my brother and I whispered to each other, they want us to be nice to food. But you should be nice to food, because someone else might like that food. Because if someone offers you Brussels sprouts, and you're like, Ew, Brussels sprouts are gross. Well, maybe that person might like Brussels sprouts. And it can actually hurt someone's feelings if you say that there's something inherently bad with something they genuinely like. Or even with some really common scenarios that we might not even think about. For instance, I'm not particularly fond of most modern country music. But instead of saying, bleh, that music sucks, there is, of course, a much nicer way to express my opinion. I mean, I have nothing against modern country music. I just could never connect with it. And that's totally fine. Because there are millions of other people who derive real enjoyment from listening to it. They could even have some sort of special connection to it that you might be totally unaware of. Maybe a song they listen to reminds them of a loved one. Or maybe an album that they listen to got them through a difficult time in their life. Maybe they just really like having fun going to concerts with their friends. Not liking something should never impact someone's ability to enjoy the thing that makes them or other people happy. My point is that you should never feel like you need to like something just because other people like it, and you should never feel bad for not being into something. After all, I'm pretty sure every person watching this video right now has something special to them that has some sort of deep significance. Whether it's a picture, a song, or anything else. It can be anything from big and significant to trivial and just with some sentimental value. And whatever sort of attachment you share with those things, I'm sure someone else shares it with something that you just don't particularly care about. And that's totally okay. Because just like how we feel good about the things that we do like, we should never feel bad about the things we don't care about. Because at the end of the day, we all just want to enjoy the things that we like. So thanks so much everybody for watching this week's First Seed Friday video. I hope you enjoyed it. I've been having a lot of fun coming up with little discussion topics like this, so if you have any requests or suggestions, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. Also, if you would like to support the work that I do on this channel and on other platforms, my merch store and Patreon links are in the description box below. And speaking of patrons, I want to thank these amazing Patreon supporters for producing today's video. And I'd like to thank these beautiful patrons for sponsoring today's video. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. So thanks again for watching, everybody. My name's Ace of Hearts Fox, and I will see you all in the next video.